everyone and welcome to Preschool Praise. I hope you're all ready for some songs and a story. We're going to have a story which we haven't read for a long time. It's one of my favourites. But first, let's start by singing with Alana about Jesus, our King. Hello, my name is Alana and welcome to my living room. We're going to sing a song together and it's called One, Two, Three, Four, Five. Jesus Christ is now alive. I think that you'll know the tune, so you should be able to sing along, but it would be good if you could do some actions as well. Now, I can't really do actions and play guitar at the same time. Hmm, what can we do about this? That's better. So follow me for the singing and follow me for the actions. Great, let's go. Now, would you like to play a game? For this game, you have to use your eyes. It's called I Spy With My Little Eye. I'm going to show you a picture of a farm. There's lots of animals on it. Have a really good look at this. And then I'm going to ask you some questions. Now, if you need more time to answer, you can just press the pause button and then you've got plenty of time. So have a good look at this picture. Are you ready? I spy with my little eye a basket of apples. Have a look round. Do you see it anywhere? There, did you see it by the stable? Next one. I spy with my little eye a blue scarf. Oh, there it is, round the neck of the scarecrow. I spy with my little eye a brown animal that hops. There's lots of animals, so have a good look round. There it is, it's the rabbit by the tree. I think he's eating that apple, isn't he? I spy with my little eye something that says meow. Of course, it's the cat in the middle of the picture there. That cat's licking its paws. Ready? I spy with my little eye something green sitting on a leaf. A good look round the picture. There it is. It's the hoppy frog on a lily pad watching the ducks. Last one. Looking carefully. I spy with my little eye a creepy crawly in a web. It's the spider, isn't it, in the corner? 
in the corner of the stable. Now, did you find in everything? Well, we need our eyes, don't we, to help us see all these things. Now, shut your eyes, close them tight. Can you see the farm now? No, of course not. It's all just dark. Open your eyes again. And there it is. Now, in our story today, there is a man who cannot see. He wouldn't have been able to play our game. He wouldn't have seen the rabbit or the hoppy frog. He wouldn't have even seen the sunshine. It was dark for him all the time, like when we had our eyes shut. Now, this is a true story in the Bible. So before we listen to it, let's sing our song that reminds us that the Bible is God's word. We need to stand up and do some actions with Holly. God's word is the Bible. The Bible is God's word. It's living and active in us today, sharper than a two-edged sword. So we're gonna get it open. We're gonna see what it says. We're gonna let God speak into our lives. Shall we do it? The answer is yes. The man who would not be quiet. Bartimaeus was sad. He couldn't see. His eyes did not work. But his ears did. And one day he heard stomp, stamp, clomp, tramp. Lots of feet. And lots of voices saying, Jesus was coming, Jesus was coming. Jesus, thought Bartimaeus. And Bartimaeus opened his mouth as big and as wide as he could and shouted very loudly, Jesus, God's promised king, help me. Can we all shout that together? Ready? Jesus, God's promised king, help me. Shh, be quiet, you're too loud, everyone said. But Bartimaeus was not quiet. He opened his mouth even wider and shouted even louder. Jesus, God's promised king, help me. Do you think we can all shout that together again, a little bit louder? Ready? Jesus, God's promised king, help me. And do you know what happened? Jesus stopped and said, come here, Bartimaeus. Look, there he's running towards the voice of Jesus. What do you want me to do, said Jesus. I want to see, said Bartimaeus. Then you're all better, Jesus said. You believed in me, so now you can see. And suddenly, suddenly Bartimaeus could see. Look, his eyes are working. He can see Jesus. And he saw something else. He saw that Jesus was God's promised king. The king God had sent to make all things better. And that was someone worth shouting about. What a story! Isn't Jesus amazing? He healed Bartimaeus. Jesus helped Bartimaeus to see with his eyes, but he also helped him to see that Jesus was God's promised king, the special king, God's son who'd come to make all things better. Now I've a rhyme to share with you today and we've done it before so you may remember it and in this rhyme I ask a question. Do you know who Jesus is? And then we all say together, he's the son of God. Let's practice that. Do you know who Jesus is? He's the son of God. Right, listen out for the question. Do you know who Jesus is? He's the Son of God. He calmed the stormy wind and waves. Yes, he's the Son of God. Do you know who Jesus is? He's the Son of God. 
He healed the sick. He healed the blind. Yes, he's the son of God. Do you know who Jesus is? He's the son of God. He died but came alive again. Yes, he's the son of God. Well done, everyone. And maybe you can say that rhyme again later this week because it does help us to remember that Jesus really is God's son. And we have a song about Jesus' love and Holly will help us sing it. So let's join in with the action. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high you can't get over it. So low you can't get under it. So wide you can't get round it. Oh, wonderful love. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high you can't get over it. So low you can't get under it. So wide you can't get round it. Oh, wonderful love. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. Well, Jesus' love really is very wonderful. So let's talk to Jesus now in prayer. And our prayer today goes like this. Jesus is good, and we put our thumbs up. Jesus is loving, hold our heart like that. And Jesus is king, we make a crown with our hands. And then we say, thank you, Jesus. So it's Jesus is good, Jesus is loving, Jesus is king. Are we ready to pray? Jesus is good. Jesus is loving. Jesus is king. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And now it's time for something to make. And today we're going to make two puppets. So we're going to need some card and some crayons or felt pens, some tape, masking tape or sticky tape, some glue and two sticks or two wooden spoons. Maybe ask before you get these from the kitchen. And what we're going to do is first make a figure of Jesus. And for this, we draw a simple shape. We've drawn this kind of shape many times, but it's the easiest way to make people. Add some arms and hands. And then we cut that out. So it looks like this. The next thing we need to do is do the face. So I'm going to draw around this pot. Like that, make a little circle. Quickly cut that out. Where round we go. And then this is going to be Jesus' face. So I'm going to give him some hair. Like that. Eyes. Um, eyebrows, I'll make those dark as well. Nose and a very kind smile. Once you've made the, the face, you need to put some glue on the top of your figure, near the, near the top like that, a bit of glue, and then stick on the face of Jesus. 
there we are. So the next thing we do is we need some, we need some tape. So take your tape, tear some off, and bend it round like that. Stick on the back of Jesus, and then stick him firmly to your stick or spoon. There we are. So now we have Jesus puppet. Next, we need to make Bartimaeus, and for him. We do, we do two shapes. We draw two shapes and we, we cut out two faces as well. For the first face, we make Bartimaeus very sad because he cannot see. But for the second face, Jesus healed him. So we put the hair on again. eyebrows, the nose. Oh, forgotten he's got a little beard, hasn't he? Because whatever you do on one of the pictures, you do the same. So if you use green for his clothes or brown for his clothes, then you have to use the same colour. Right. But Jesus has healed him. So let's have his eyes wide open. And what kind of face will he have now? There, he was very sad. But here, he's happy. Take your glue again and put your head of Bartimaeus on there. Then take some more sellotape or masking tape. Fold it round and let's put Bartimaeus on the spoon. Now, because the spoons are a little, little different on both sides, you might need quite a bit of tape to put in here to build it up a little bit. Like that. And now we can stick on Bartimaeus. Because we're going to pull. No. Come on. Stick on. And now you have your two puppets and you can act out the story. You can remember that Bartimaeus called out, Jesus, Jesus as Jesus was coming along. And Jesus said, come on, come to me, Bartimaeus. So he goes over and then when he meets Jesus, whoa, Jesus heals him and he can see. So I hope you enjoy making these puppets and maybe having a little puppet show to tell the story. And do send in photos of the things you make to preschool praise at stmstm.org.uk and we will show them to everybody. Now today we can see the model of Simeon holding the baby Jesus and this was made by Jason and his grandma. Well done Jason, that's a really good picture. It's now time for our blessing song, so why not link arms or hold hands with those around you?
well, sorry everyone, but we're out of time for today. But we'll be back again soon with another exciting story about Jesus. And do you know who Jesus is? He's the Son of God. Well, take care, everyone. God bless you and bye-bye.